I want to create something that can solve our problem of dirty water. You can't do it in one day, you can't do it in one year. And so my whole idea has been, what can we develop from the nanotechnology point of view that we can grow into a real working technology to address the issue of dirty water? So this is what I'm talking about here. These are pellet particles that we're going to insert into our reactor. And these alumina pellets are normally white looking, but in this case here, they're violet colored. And that's because it's infused with small bits of gold and palladium. One of the first things that we did when uh, my program was starting up at Rice was to look at the problem of trichloroethylene contamination of water, TCE. TCE is this organic solvent molecule that is very popular to use uh, when you're working with metals. You use it to degrease metals, basically. Uh, the problem is, is that this TC has been used in such large volumes that inevitably a lot of this TCE ends up in the groundwater. And so how do you get rid of something that's underground, that's in contact with groundwater, that's flowing slowly and picking up small amounts of TCE every minute? And that's a problem that we're trying to solve. Once we discovered the problem and realized just how tremendous this problem was in the US, but also in other parts of the world, we decided to set on this course of finding a new technology to help solve this problem. And we felt that nanotechnology and catalysis would be able to do the trick. What we didn't realize was just how good the materials that we made turned out to be. Turns out that small bits of palladium and gold metal two metals that you wouldn't normally associate for cleaning water, turns out cleans water very, very well. What we have here is our mini flow reactor. This is where we have been doing our preliminary studies. It consists of a water reservoir where we have uh, chloroform, water, and hydrogen. The water will be saturated with hydrogen. It will flow through our system. The pump is gonna flow the water through our reactors where we have these palladium gold pellets. What's going to happen is that the chloroform and the hydrogen will uh, react in the surface of the palladium and will be converted into methane. After publishing these papers, we then expanded our directions to look at other types of contaminants to understand better just why did palladium and gold bits of metal was able to do the trick so much better than what's out there now. So one of the projects that I'm really excited about nowadays is the chloroform water cleanup project that I have in collaboration with DuPont. DuPont has a site that's been contaminated accidentally with chloroform. This chloroform is soaked into the ground and they're currently have contained it and they're cleaning it up now. They heard about our hyperactive palladium gold materials and now we're partnering up with them with Stanford to create and build this reactor which will contain our pellets that contains the palladium gold and we're going to place this reactor at that site to do and initiate the field testing at that contaminated chloroform site. I'm pretty excited about it. That's something that I develop is going to be actually going to be used in a real world conditions.